If you want to know how to create fur for our puppy, then stay tuned. Before we can set up the fur simulation, we need to edit the geometry. We must avoid growing hair from the eyes and from the tip of the nose. Sadly, we need to delete the armature modifier temporarily, otherwise we get strange results in animation. Bring the model into the rest pose, go to modifiers and delete the armature modifier. Switch to object data properties and go to vertex groups. Click on the down arrow and select delete all vertex groups. Hide the armature, we don't need it for this tutorial. Go to edit mode and press K for the knife tool. Cut a shape like this around the eye. Repeat the process on the other eye. And for the tip of the snout. Switch to edge mode and with all select, you can select the loop around the eye. With shift plus select, add the missing edge to your selection. Hold down shift, alt and select for the loop around the other eye and shift select for the edge. Also add edges around the tip of the snout. Use the bevel operation, Ctrl B, to create a ring around the loops. With a mouse wheel, you can increase or decrease the number of bevel loops. We only need one here. Deselect everything with Alt A and switch to face select mode. Select the inner faces of the eyes and the snout. By pressing C, you can transform the mouse cursor into a circle to select faces. Switch to vertex mode and invert the selection with Ctrl I. Add a new vertex group and click on Assign to add all selected vertices to the group. Rename the group to Density and activate the lock. Return to object mode and switch to particle properties. Add a new particle system and switch to hair. Yikes! Set the length to 0.06 and the number to 20,000. Click the checkbox Advanced to enable Physics tab. In Physics, set the Brownian value to 0.05. Go to Children and activate Interpolated. Under Roughness, set the Uniform value to 0.01 and the Random value to 0.025. Set the diameter root in hair shape to 0.02 and in vertex groups, density, choose our vertex group density. Now the eyes and the tip of the nose should be hair free. A first render gives us this result. You will notice that every hair grows along the face normal. It looks unnatural, but we can improve this. Switch from object mode to particle edit mode. Select the first comb and group the coarse hairline from snout to tail and top to bottom. With F, you can adjust the size of a comb. I comb the ears from inside to outside. When I finish the coarse hairline, I shrink the comb and create partings, crests and walls. The second render gives us this result. The legs are looking good, but the rest of the body looks too even. So go back to particle edit mode and instead of path mode we choose point mode. The hair strands look even now. Each hair consists of 5 control points. With the key option in the particle menu we can adjust how many of these control points should be affected by the comp. In this mode, we can see that most of the hair strands are too parallel, so groom some variation. If you want to delete the whole grooming or change the particle settings, go to Particle Properties and click on Delete Edit first. 
After that, the settings will be editable again. After the third editing, our model looks like this in the finished rendering. I'm satisfied with the result for this tutorial, so I can show you another tip. When you add the armature again for animation, make sure the armature modifier comes before the hair particle modifier. Otherwise, you can run into this issue. The fur remains at the original position, but the model doesn't. And that's the end of our puppy series. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.